Hi Libra. Welcome to your reading. Uh, this is going to be a love reading. This is for Libras who are single. Um, you know, I say single, but you know, you could be in a relationship that you're just not happy with. This is going to be a love reading, by the way. Um, and what we're really looking for is new love, uh, but the highest form of love. So this will be for Libra, sun, moon, or rising. Many of you are intuitively guided and, um, Thank you for paying attention to your intuition. Some of you just may be checking up on a Libra. So whatever brought you, welcome. Um, these are somewhat long readings. And I have been getting the craziest comments lately. I mean, crazy comments. Um, telling me that they should be 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You know, a lot of people come onto your channel and they want to give you their 10, their, what do you call it? Their two cents. Um, so... I think in every video I say it's probably going to be a long reading, but also you can look at the time of the video before you enter. <laughs> so I find that, like I asked a couple of people, like, why did you even come in the room? Anyway, I guess I'm feeling a little frustrated and I'm sorry I shouldn't take it out on you guys. Um, because it's never under your readings that I get these type of comments. Um, but real quick, I do want to give a shout out. To my nephew, Sean, who is right on the cusp of Virgo and Libra, though he doesn't want to claim Virgo at all, um, September 24th. And my beautiful granddaughter, Lily, uh, October 14th. My beautiful sister, Tracy, who has crossed over, Sean's mom, October 15th. And um, I know a few of you share those birthdays. That's why I always give a shout out. Um, I don't think any of them, well, Sean's not single, and I'm pretty sure Lily is still with a, um, a boy that she's been seeing, so anyways, this is going to be, again, we're looking for love, we're looking for the highest form of love, um, I don't think you're interested in, you know, some of you are going to come in and date for a couple of weeks, and then that's done. That's not what this reading is about. Like, who am I going to spend the rest of my life with? When is it going to start to happen? Um, what do I need to do to get to that place? You know what I mean? I really am looking for soulmate energy. So um, I kind of have a feeling the soulmates are going to appear. But whether they do or not, it doesn't really matter. That is what I am looking for. All right, guys. So we're going to use three different decks. We're going to use Mother Mary. For her beautiful words of wisdom. But well, we will take that over the reading. We're going to use the Gilded Tarot. To clarify or go a little bit deeper. And um, I'm using the same deck for every sign. Because I'm definitely looking for the synchronicities. Between the signs. And if I. Um, if one really shows itself to me. I'll definitely let you know. Because you know. You might. You might be meeting one of those signs. All right. Let's go ahead and give it a couple shuffles. Though everything's always pre-shuffled. But I do like to shuffle it with you here. Let's give them a cut. I do want to say excuse my nail polish. I did plan on redoing my nails um, before I did your reading. Because I was out working in the yard yesterday. But I completely forgot until... I pushed start and I'm like, oh my God, my nails. All right. Libra. Let's just take a moment. Calm my mind. Open to my guides of the light. Who then connect to your guides. And let's begin. All right, Libra. New love. When's it coming? How are we going to meet? Whoa. Hmm. All right. Well, it's coming through the Knight of Wands. Um, you know, that's kind of good. Uh, Knight of Wands to me, first of all, it's fast moving energy. It's a fast moving night. You know, I always feel every night is going to complete their mission. Whether we choose to accept it or not is up to us. But this can certainly talk about the energy that's coming towards you. 
this would definitely be energy that, it, first of all, I feel like you'll feel it before it even arrives. And that's probably why it's the first card. Like, make sure your intuition is open. You're paying attention to it because I do. I feel have a feeling you're going to really feel it. You know, this can also be um, the energy of really feeling swept off your feet. It is desirable energy. But it can also be fast moving, which can be a little scary. So let's see what else we have. Actually, let me bring the lid down. There we go. We have the two of pentacles. Okay. Well, that kind of puts the ball in your court. You're making the final decision, which, of course, that's the way it should be. Um, but, you know, the two pentacles, they call it the juggler's card. But I think it's more about using one's logical mind, like, okay, so here you come. You're coming in quick. You're coming in, you know, all this passion burning. Um, but is it good for me? Will it, will it enhance my life? I feel like in the two of pentacles, those are the kind of questions I'm asking. You know, is this something that's going to be good in my life? Um, definitely make my life better. Or is this going to turn out to be a headache type of thing? So maybe it is taking a little moment, right? Because again, the fast moving energy, taking a moment. You know, I, I can definitely flow with that night. But I do feel like this is just saying maybe just so you feel comfortable, like just take a moment. And then we have the death card, card of Scorpio. Um, but this is a card of endings. This is about closing a door so that a new door can open. That's what the death card is. It's about rebirth. And I often feel whatever door we're closing, it's meant to be closed now. You know, like it's time. Why? So that this rebirth can take place in your life. So let's see what door is closing. And I'm sure it's going to be different for different people. You know what I mean? Again, some of you may have been like, uh, you could still be in a relationship that, um, you know, for whatever reason, I, I just get this feeling like, hmm. Like someone's probably not treating you right. All right. Mm, six of Pentacles. The fine art of give and take. You know, maybe you've been a giver. And someone else has been a taker. And, um, you know, I do need to realize that. Like, I do need to look at that. Like, do I tend, to, and you do, because you have such a beautiful heart, you do tend to give. Um, but this talks about also, are you receiving? It's also a very compassionate energy. This is where I feel like the people in here really care about their fellow man. You know, like, uh, if I saw someone, I don't know, like, I don't know why I want to say, like, injured on the roadside, I'm the one I would go to them. Where other people may run away, you go towards, it's like, you know, you go towards the fire. Why? Because I feel like your compassionate soul is first and foremost. And then you may think about it later. But I feel like that's when you feel alive at the same time. Um, I also like that the Six of Pentacles is mirroring the Knight of Wands. Because you may find that, especially with the death card right before the Six of Pentacles, again, very compassionate. This is the energy where I really do care about my fellow man, um, you know, and I may have a tendency to try to help others. But you do want to question, like, who am I helping and am, am I helping them, right? Or are they just taking? And for some of you, this is what you've already been through. Because I do feel like for some of you, that door has been closed. All right, let's keep going. And, you know, and if that's the case, then it's telling you the type of person, like their personality would be, first of all, fiery, passionate, but also compassionate, caring.
beautiful sun. Illumination. It's a brand new day. Brand new day. The sun will come up tomorrow. Um, Carter Leo. Some of you could certainly represent a Leo. We have Leo, Scorpios, Major Arcanas right now. But you know, I feel like the sun, first of all, I don't really have to worry when the sun comes out. I love the sun in a love reading because anything is done in the dark will come to the light. So, you know, it's almost like you don't need to worry about that. Um, and something, you know, in a previous relationship probably came to the light. The sun's very playful energy also. Some of you may have recently made a change in your location. And um, it could be a very good thing. All right, let's keep going. Hello, Judgment. I feel like Judgment has come out in every single reading. Um, and I'm always happy when Judgment shows. Because first of all, Judgment is your spiritual team. Judgment is calling you to the present moment. Why? Again, a rebirth. So you have two cards to speak about rebirth. But this one is about the present moment. And how beautiful it's sitting next to the sun. And then we have the Page of Cups. Under the Death card. Could certainly be, um, you know, I, I'm really trying to make this all about new love, not past love. Um, but yet, I also feel like this could definitely represent, like, uh, for some of you. Well, I want to say a younger Scorpio. Um, but I also want to say that's probably just for a couple people. So let's talk about the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is really about, you know, your inner child. And I love right at this moment, it's mirroring the sun. That is the playfulness. That is your playful side. I have a feeling love is calling for your playful side to come out. Judgment is calling you in the present moment. And again, it doesn't mean like, you know, you don't have a, a say in this. Because again, the two pentacles right above that. I feel like, yes, you definitely have a say in this. But I definitely feel the playfulness um, and the passion. And I like that you're closing a door here because I feel like the Six of Pentacles, listen, the Six of Pentacles, I feel like is twofold. I feel, first of all, it's your past. It is like, you know, where you do have that caring heart. Maybe you were trying to help someone. Maybe you're trying to help them better their life. But to no avail. So to me, this feels like new energy. So, again, I feel like the person that um, eventually you're going to meet is going to come into your life. I'm saying eventually, though, again, two cards of rebirth and judgment in the present moment. You know, why does judgment call you to the present moment? Because that's where your signs are set. And it is about trusting your intuition. You know, trusting in your spirit guides. All right, let's keep going. I'm actually going to slide these up just a little bit. You know, when we come back and clarify, I have a feeling we're going to figure out exactly what door needed to be closed or has closed and why. Um, and I'm hoping we're not going to spend a lot of time talking about the past, especially with judgment here. But let's keep going. All right. We have the hermit, Carter Virgo. You know, I often feel the hermit's an old soul. Like... You know, and it's interesting because the Hermit's Lantern is looking back at this page like your inner child. 
Like, we've got this. We've done this before. We've been here before. We've overcome probably much more. You know, and I also feel like the hermit is about deep reflection. Like, I am seeking the light. I'm seeking true wisdom um, for this earthly plane. And the lantern is illuminating the page of cups. So I feel like, again, it's about allowing your inner child to come out. Like, allow your inner child to come out and play. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles means something is coming. Well, not something. Someone is coming into your physical world. You know, and I love that it's coming below the sun. So I feel like I don't like I feel like all will be very clear. And then judgment, you know, I don't feel like judgment would be like setting you up on any type of dates that um, aren't good for you. This is not about lessons. I feel like lessons I have learned. This is about now. For some of you, you probably have been through it. You know, the hermit can definitely represent going through the dark night of the soul. But listen, sometimes it does take us like falling down to our knees to really start to build ourselves back up again. So don't regret that period. Learn from that as much as you can. You know, it's funny. Someone just left me a comment. I don't know why I'm thinking of it right now. Who said, um, that I preach too much, like I need to respect my elders. Well, I'm 63, so, you know, I'm up there. Um, but I'm never, I never try to preach. I don't know why these comments, usually I just don't even, you know, like I, I will comment um, in the most kindful way I can, but I try not to allow them to like sit within me. I just, okay, I get it. And I move on, but lightly, hmm. Anyway, Ace of Pentacles, King of Swords. Well, this could be you. Um, another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But listen, doesn't have to be any of that. Um, this king would be someone who definitely has integrity. Definitely, um, I feel like lives within their truth. You know, like, can't be persuaded. And I mean this in a good way. Like, don't try to persuade me with your lies. It's not going to work. Um, this is a really good communicator also. And I feel like that's important to you. All right, let's keep going. Let's fill out the block. Whoa. All right, we have the hangman. Some of you may have been like hesitant in closing a door. But nonetheless, I feel like a door does need to be closed. And it makes sense, right? Because, you know, if I really want true love, then I need to, I need to look back. I need to understand where I've been, you know, why? So I really know where I'm going. You know, the hangman's really seeking wisdom. It is a pause in the action, but with purpose, like I'm seeking wisdom as is the hermit, right? But I feel like there's a little resistance or there had been to like closing of one door. We have the king of wands next. Uh, can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We do have Leo on the board. This king's looking right back at the hangman. Almost like waiting for the hangman to um, find that wisdom that they're seeking. I mean, he looks like he wants to get out of his chair. And let's not forget the first card is the knight. Of wands, and I feel like who sends out these knights, the kings or the queens? Well, 
So I, I get a feeling that this king um, of swords, male or female, by the way, remember we're, we have masculine and feminine energy. I have a feeling this is you, and I have a feeling this is talking about what's who is coming in. Now, it's being mirrored by the um, Ace of Pentacles over here, and we do have one more card. Well, look at that. We have the Page of Wands. Interesting. Some of you, you, are, you might already know this person. You know, I get a feeling for a few, like, you know, you, I have a feeling some of you have made a move. Maybe you moved back to where you used to live. You know, back to like your hometown or back to a place where, you know, I would say you have good memories of. I also feel there's a real maturity level here. You know, although I am allowing, I'm speaking as the king right now. It's like I am allowing um, my playfulness to come out. I am going to be proactive. You know, the page of wands is also my risk taker. So it doesn't even have to talk about younger energy. It might just say that this king is willing to take a risk on you are you willing to take a risk on them and again this king looking back at the hangman like uh, you know they may have they may need a little bit of patience because i feel like the two of pentacles is like i'm gonna think about this yet i feel like in a way it's going to be hard to deny um, the energy. It's going to be hard to deny the feelings. Well, hello, Two of Cups. This is what I'm doing the reading for. Again, I'm just not looking for any old love. I'm looking for soulmate love. Here we go. Look at that. The lovers under there. The lovers and the Two of Cups. First of all, lovers is uh, card Gemini. Uh, head of heart decision. That's the meaning of the card. But chemistry. I mean chemistry. And beautiful angel that's influencing these lovers. You know, when you see the devil's card, you usually see the devil that's also influencing the lovers. That's the dark, right? But this is the light. And it's also met by the soulmate. So... Chemistry, passion. We have passion already on the board. I feel like if nothing else, that is giving us confirmation. All right, let's go ahead and bring in the Gilded Tarot. And um, let's go ahead and just go deeper. You know, those who want a short reading... I could end it right here and be like, oh, great, you have a soulmate coming in. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles was certainly certainly means something is coming in into your physical world. It's coming, uh, you know, with the light, in the light, your spiritual team calling you to the present moment. And, you know, when your spiritual team is here, I feel like I don't have much to fear. Um, and if there is some fear, well, maybe that's the door. You know, maybe it's past relationships and I just need to close the door to that. Um, but what I was going to say is I could just leave it right here, right? But I don't feel like I'm giving you a true reading if I don't go deeper. So deeper we are going. And again, I apologize for it bringing up these comments in um, your reading, but you're the first reading since I took yesterday off. Um, just completely didn't read comments, didn't do any anything. Just spent the time with Sam. And just spent out the day outside enjoying, you know, getting grounded. Like I literally took my shoes off um, and just walked around barefoot. Anyway, hello, Nine of Cups. Beautiful. 
first of all, I feel like nine is, it, well, nine means a couple different things. To me, nine is about reflection, but I feel like that's what the hermit was doing. And I feel like you're the hermit, you know, unless it's a Virgo, but I, I feel like this is more, um, I feel like the hermit's energy is about, like, I feel like a lot of your old souls and it's like figuring out, like, I think I've been here before. I've done this before. You know, I need to just be true. What is right is right. What is wrong is wrong. But anyway, so this can certainly talk about singular energy. Nine of Cups is also about inner harmony. Finding that inner harmony. You know, when you find inner harmony, life feels good. Doesn't mean everything is like perfect. Life feels good though. Nine of Cups is also about fulfillment of wishes. Wow. If I'm wishing for a soulmate, I have a feeling it's going to come true. And, you know, maybe some of you, again, you needed to cut ties. Um, and let's say that you've been waiting for someone. You know, maybe someone like ghosted you, that type of energy. Well, I feel like you, no, no. Like maybe for a little while. But, and listen, I feel like, you know, if that was the case, then I could see it sending you into a little bit of a head spin type of thing. But. I feel like definitely this is signifying that a door is being closed, that you are finding that inner harmony. You know, I feel like you're just allowing yourself to be playful again, to enjoy, you know, enjoy whatever it is you have. Doesn't mean I have everything, but I still feel good. Also, fulfillment of a wish, though. All right. Hmm. Or swords healing. And then temperance, divine timing. Um, card of Sagittarius, by the way, coming over the death card, card of Scorpio, but card of closing doors. Again, temperance is about divine timing. Temperance's first message is patience. I often feel, you know, when you see the soulmates, a lot of times you'll see temperance in the same reading. Because I feel like it is temperance's energy that really is making sure that both soulmates' cups are equally filled. Now, sometimes I feel like we're waiting on the universe. And other times I feel like they're waiting on us. Right? Especially coming over an energy of a door needing to be closed. And then the healing process. Right. And I, I feel like it doesn't mean that like I'm completely healed, even though you do have the nine of cups. I feel like I'm getting better and better and better. I'm feeling better and better and better. Divine timing. Mirrored by the hangman. So I feel like in, it, this means that you'll instinctively know when it's time to move or instinctively um, or intuitively, let me put it that way, uh, feel. Because again, I feel like you're going to feel this energy before it even arrives. You know, to me, this is why I go deeper because I feel like you know, that four of swords is saying, listen, it probably took a little time to heal the energy of the past, right? Heal those broken hearts. But remember in the four of swords, I feel this one sword is ourselves, learning about ourselves. Same, same thing with the hermit, right? I want to know myself. How am I in love? How am I in love? I feel like it's good important to know that. There is no way I feel like this is talking about a person, especially with all the divine energy on the table, 
I feel like there's no way this is talking about someone that is going to give you troubles. I feel like those days are behind you. I'm not saying it's going to be a perfect love because I don't know if there is such a thing. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we're human. But let's put it this way. Like, maybe in the past, if you got in an argument with someone, boom, we broke up. Well, here, I feel like this is more about, you know, we're going to deal with things together. And that's probably why the Six of Pentacles is right next to that. Again, divine timing. And I feel like, you know, part of that divine timing was allowing yourself to heal. Sometimes the only way you can heal is to understand it, you know, or let me put it a different way. Sometimes we just get caught in people's webs, you know what I mean? Um, who don't turn out to be, let's just say, the best um, partners. But then we got to learn to like be like, OK, well, that's not what I want. Like, I want someone who wants me. I don't want to chase someone. I want I want it to be clear. And I feel like this king with this knight, it's going to be clear. Because again, I feel like you're going to feel it before it even comes in. All right. Mm. Eight of Pentacles. Self-created prison. I get it. Right? This is where you really are trying to protect yourself. But at the same time, you are blocking. Maybe you're doing it on purpose. Maybe you were doing it on purpose. You know, it's self-created, so you are the only one who can uncreate it. You know, it does mean maybe you'd need to take a chance. It is an eight, right? So allowing myself to have a new beginning. I feel like really what this is saying, though, is I'm not going to allow the past to predict my present or my future. First, I got to break myself free. And it's mirroring the nine of cups. So I, I get a feeling you already have. All right, well, hello, four of wands. The marriage card, right over the sun. I mean, that's kind of beautiful. This is about commitment. True commitment. True love. This can be blending of families. But I have to tell you, because I am looking for a long-lasting relationship for you, well, that's what this would represent. Right? Marriage. Commitment. Doesn't have to be married. Sam and I aren't married. Um, doesn't mean we never will be, but, you know, the commitment is made. I love that it's coming over the sun. And then look at this, Libra. The Knight of Pentacles. Your guardian angel. You know, what does the Knight of Pentacles... Well, let's let's talk about the Knight of Pentacles for a second. I do feel like it's your guardian angel. And this is another energy that speaks about patience, right? This is a slow-moving knight, but it moves slow on purpose. You know, this knight tells you, I come in the right time. Well, we know that it's showing because what this knight is bringing is this ace. Here it is. Right over judgment, your spiritual team, it's like your top guide is stepping forward. So I come at the right time, not before, not after. To me, that signifies that the death card, right? The closing of door, the freeing of oneself. I feel like all those things are important. Allowing the heal the healing process to take place doesn't mean I'm completely healed. I don't know that we ever are. <laughs> Though I shouldn't say that because I feel like when you really find true love, then I feel like you do look back and be like, what was I thinking? What was I waiting for? Um, but don't judge yourself. Nobody here is judging you. Anyways. What beautiful energy.
you know, this is really quite beautiful so far. Um, I'm not saying there's no hardships because that eight of pentacles would tell me that there was. You know, it's funny. I'm going to take it um, because I was having a hard time picking up this card. And then when I picked it up, it was like kind of like sticking out like that. And I just had this feeling I was meant to take it and look at it. Destiny. Destiny. It's your will. And I feel like where I've had to have patience it feels like now it's go time. How beautiful that the wheel, which again is your destiny, who they call it the wheel of fortune here, sitting next to, I feel your highest guide or the guide that really wants to like help you here. And then temperance, divine timing. I feel like a wheel that hasn't been turning is going to start turning now. You know, that healing above could certainly speak about that Eight of Swords. All right, we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, well... Okay, now I know why the Eight of Swords is created. You know, and that's what I felt in the death card. I felt like potentially I have been in a relationship or relationships where I was the giver and someone else was the taker. Things were not equal. You know, Ten of Wands to me feels like I put everything upon my shoulders. I'm carrying the weight of the world. Carrying someone else's weight. But honestly, I feel like in the in the Ten of Wands, what I'm really secretly hoping for is a tower. Why? Well, sometimes I have a hard time putting an end to things. And it just may be your gentle nature. So it's like, come on in, tower. Help me to overcome this. Help me find a love who really wants to be with me. You know, we're equal. It's a beautiful give and take. And then we have justice. Well, there you are. There's your major arcana right over the ace of pentacles. Again, that Ace of Pentacles means, well, we're talking about love, soulmate love. It means it's, that love is coming. Probably sooner versus later. It may have taken some time. But it, it may be because there may have been some work that I needed to do. You know, again, that Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands coming over the Hermit. Maybe I just needed to reflect upon you know, do I just allow, did I just allow someone to take advantage of me for too long? Justice is really about fairness. Balance. You know, when you're living a balanced life, it's so much easier. Justice is really about making you whole again. Right over that Ace of Pentacles. I know it's talking about the soulmates. Because we have the Four of Wands right above it. The marriage card. Over the sun. Complete illumination. It, you know, it's almost like your spirit guide just saying, there is nothing to fear here. This is not just like a free will or a karmic type energy. No. I have a feeling you've already been there, done that. Okay. Let's keep going.
You know, I love it when your major arcana comes out in a reading. We have four of cups. Interesting, we have two fours mirroring each other. Four of cups talks about discontentment and boredom in one's life. But what am I going to do about that? In the four of cups, you can see that a cup is being handed to this person. Or it's coming in, let's say. And the meaning of this card is learning to use your spiritual discernment as this as this cup reaches you. And will you accept it or not? Interesting, it's coming over the king of swords, so I don't know. You know, it could be you, but it could also be someone that you've given some time to that... Um, you know, I want to say it didn't produce anything. You are the one who has to accept that cup. That's why I want you to use your spiritual discernment. But you have spiritual, you have your guides everywhere. So I feel like the more you can trust in your intuition. And even though I feel like this energy is kind of fast and furious. And that may scare you a little. Um, I still feel like it's a very good thing. Look at this. The star. Your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. My God. Like, really. And how beautiful the temperance is mirroring this energy. Divine. It's helping. And, and that's the key word. Helping. Right? Because I also have to help myself. What do I mean by that? I feel like in the Eight of Swords, it's kind of where I'm like, you know, I could have gone into the hermit stage. And maybe you needed it. I mean, you know, I'm not I'm not putting any um, time limit on whatever it is you need, but I do feel like you do need to reflect upon that. Anyways, dreams coming true. Nine of Cups, fulfillment of a wish. Here it is, over the hangman. How interesting, right? Because I feel like the wish that I had did not come true. But this is of a much higher vibration. And listen, when you learn to set yourself free from energy that just, or people that just aren't serving you. And I don't mean that in an egotistical way, but you just know in your soul, you know, in your heart, right? Because again, the death card, I feel like it's definitely saying when that door closed, I feel like everything else opens. The fulfillment of a dream. This is working hand in hand with divine. Over the hangman. Destiny right above it. Hmm. Queen of Swords. So again, you. I have a feeling this is you. And then the Seven of Wands. Okay. That's a little defensive. That's the energy of standing your ground. And maybe that's something you've learned, like you've learned to stand your ground. You know, maybe you've learned that if I've been in a relationship where literally it's just me giving and the other person taking, that's not how I see my life. I feel like the Queen of Swords is like reclaiming her voice here. She's got these beautiful white doves around her, which to me represent purity. Sitting right next to the star. Her sword is pointing right up to the wheel. Again, destiny. And I think I just want to look at why the Seven of Wands came out with the Queen.
You know, it could simply represent that you're so used to putting out other people's fires. And um, I have a feeling it's it's getting old. It probably feels old. We have the sun again with the three of swords. So it's like it's illuminating the three of swords. That may have been why I created the eight of swords. Right? Someone broke my heart. But can I just say, and I'm sure that is the case, um, and I feel like that's the case for most of us. But can I say that I feel like very quickly down the road, you won't even think about this three of swords. You won't. You'll be busy moving on to what I feel like is going to be a great love. You know, I'm just wondering if when this comes together, like, you know, are you going to be in a little bit of aggressive energy? Um, you know, and you have every right to make sure that it's what you want. But again, I feel like your spiritual team, uh, divine energy wishes coming true, right? The Ace of Pentacles literally saying that this love is coming into your physical world. You're going to feel it. Nine of Cups, fulfillment of a wish. Well, here we go. There's a star. Destiny. You know, what was, was. And let's not forget we have the Hermit. So I feel like, I feel like really, this is really being able to understand the past pain. Past heartache. Who I gave my time to. Did I give him too much time? All right. Um, what do I want to look at? I feel like this is so clear. Um, I think I'm just going to go right down the middle. See if any other messages want to come out. It, it does feel very clear to me, Libra. And it feels like this is something that's happening very soon. And I would just say for those who really want it, look at that Eight of Swords. Am I, you know, am I free? And it doesn't even have to mean free from another person. But am I free from putting up walls, right? Trying to protect myself. Divine would say, that's what I'm here for. That's why you have an intuition. That's what you want to trust. Now, there's nothing wrong with taking time out. That's your cho If that's your choice, that's your choice, right? There's nothing wrong with that. But in the same breath, I feel like if I am looking for really a great love, then I do feel like the Eight of Swords, the walls there do need to come down. And listen, maybe they come down slowly. And I feel like that's okay also. All right, let's go right down the middle. Five of Cups. That's probably why the Eight of Swords is there. That's probably why the Three of Swords is there. Five of Cups is where I'm really focusing on what I have lost. You know, the cups that have been knocked over in my life. It is a five, so it is asking for change. And literally, when this person decides, you know what? I'm not going to focus on the past anymore. Okay, so those cups were knocked over. It doesn't mean... That there's not more cups waiting for me. By the way, it's exactly what's waiting for this person. There they are. Two cups. So when this person turns around, soulmates is then what enters. You know, when I see a five, I think change. And if I don't do the change, you know, if I keep my focus on what I have lost, it, it can go into the woe is me type of energy. 
And again, I feel like we've all been there. But it's not what's going to serve you moving forward. Hello. Well, that makes sense. The full. Taking a leap of faith. By the way, it's coming right over the Knight of Pentacles. Your guardian angel. Who says, I'm bringing this into your physical world. And then literally does. The two of swords, I feel like I'm going back and forth here. Like, yes, I don't know. But listen, we've come down from the eight of swords down to the two of swords. And I feel like this is real life. You know, in the two of swords, sometimes this person does have a blindfold on. And sometimes it's just things that I don't want to face. But it would it serves me to face it. You know, can I be blocking an opportunity here? I can be. But listen, at the same time, I feel like if this is, well, we already know it's a soulmate. It's showing. Some of you, I feel like it's like, oh, my God, I can't believe I actually manifested my soulmate. I can't believe it's actually here. And it is, it, you know, I want to say, I can't, I can't guarantee it's for everyone, but I definitely feel like this is why you want to pay attention to your own intuition. And also, you know, again, like if I did those short little videos, then you wouldn't understand so much what door needs to be closed. Now we know, right now we get it. And then we have the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Virgo on the table. Um, all right. I want to go right underneath that though, because I want to I want to know more about this king, but I also want to know more about all of it. So let's just keep going. Let's go right underneath it. I'm not going to overread it, though, I promise. So let's just go right underneath. Five of Wands over that Five of Cups. Uh, Libra, I feel like what this is saying is sometimes people that we miss for, like, so drama-filled, and I may have gotten pulled into that drama, and I don't feel like you like living in drama. You know what I mean? Like, like I feel like truth or nothing. But it's easy to get pulled into that five of wands energy. Also, I feel like, let's say I've been with someone that I really thought that I loved. I thought that they loved me. Um, but then something not so good happens, I just feel like. In the Five of Wands, you know, if I'm looking for someone to take accountability of their own actions, I don't feel like I find it. And I don't even feel like it's worth it. You know, it may feel worth it in when I'm in the Five of Cups again, like it can be sadness and that, like I just want someone to admit. But I feel like in the long run, as you move forward, because I don't feel like I'm going to get that. And maybe that's your answer. If I can't get that, then I got to close the door to it, right? If someone is not accountable for their own actions, well, how can I live with that? I can't. That's why these are two fives. We have the four of pentacles under the full. And then we have the King of Wands back again. Coming under the two swords. So I know it's the King of Wands is coming in. Again. Um, but I'm not thinking about their sign. I'm thinking about their energy. Again, passionate. This King of Pentacles may have been someone that you have been with. Um, and I'm saying that because I could see the King of Pentacles like really holding back their feelings, you know, um, 
I am sorry to say it, but I can also see a King of Pentacles like ghosting. You know, King of Pentacles can just cut someone out of their life very quickly. And by the way, I mean, I'm an earth sign and I'm with an earth sign. So I'm not feeling great about that, King. Though for some of you, I feel like that's who you miss. But do you really? Because I feel like the King of Wands is coming in. And I feel like if, if you have any questions like, well, how do I know this is going to work? I feel like the Four of Pentacles is giving you a clue. We need to start with our foundation. Whatever that may mean to you. Some of you may mean like, you know, being friends first. But though, I don't know how that's going to happen because I feel like the passion is just is like off the charts. Some of you may actually have that question. Do I continue to wait for someone from my past or do I close that door and start moving forward? You know, that is your choice. That's a free will decision. Um, but I feel like your spiritual team would say, close that door. Don't think that they were the love of your life. Now, you could have loved them dearly. Don't get me wrong. But again, things just felt, feel like they were off kilter. And I know that you cannot live in that type of like balance is what you need. Hmm. The emperor. Well, let me tell you about the emperor. First of all, it's a card of Aries. But to me, the emperor is someone that I can look up to. This could talk about someone who may be a little bit older than you. It doesn't have to be the case. This could be someone who is a father. Um, but I don't feel like that would be a problem, you know, because don't forget, we do have the marriage card over here and it can be blended families. So I don't feel like that would be a problem at all. This is someone who does care about their fellow man. Or maybe before you had someone who only cared about themselves. This is definitely someone who has learned from their own experiences, you know, but also book smarts. But I feel also spiritual, like spiritually, this person probably has grown leaps and bounds. That's probably why the page to the king of wands where I was feeling growth. But I kind of love this because, um, again, this is someone that I can really look up to. And, you know, when I think of the King of Wands, I think of the King of Action. I think of someone who does put action behind their words. Where I feel like for some of you, you dealt with someone who's kind of held back their words. Anyways, the Emperor. All right. Um, does anything else want to come out? One more shuffle. Anything else want to come out? Come on out to help. We have the moon, card of Pisces, ruler of cancer. Um, this could also talk about moon cycles. You know, I, I don't know why, but it's taken me the whole way back to, I think it was April where we had um, totality. And that that may have been a period of time where like energy was being eclipsed out of your life. And maybe, you know, the moon can talk about uncertainty. Like I wasn't even sure why, but now you're going to start to understand that. This is also about dreamy energy. You know, and allowing myself to like just dream. But I don't even mean it as in like, like making a dream. I just feel like the energy that's coming towards you feels dreamy. Um, card of Pisces, ruler of Cancer. 
And then look at this, the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like the Six of Pentacles here was part of a problem back. The Six of Pentacles here, especially with the Emperor right here, because again, the Emperor is someone who does care about their fellow man. You know, um, listen, I feel like this is saying that this love that's coming towards you is not about like, I feel like I've learned the lesson first and foremost of that it has to be equal, right? It can't be me giving all the time. I need to be also open to receiving. And if I'm not receiving, then I've got to be real with myself. You know, because let's go back to the five of cups. I could send that energy for I don't know how long, for as long as you choose. Or I can say enough is enough. Move into the fool's energy, which is about taking a leap of faith. Now, I know right under the fool sits judgment, your spiritual team, calling you to the present moment. Well, the fool makes complete sense right there. But it is you taking a leap of faith. Listen, if you got to go slow, go slow. And by the way, because this is soulmate energy, you know, I don't feel like, like I have to be completely healed. And I don't know that we ever are. But I feel like it doesn't even matter. Because I feel like those broken little pieces, we're going to help heal it together in each other. I love that the emperor just showed for you. And again, yes, it's a card of Aries, but I'm not even reading it that way. Definitely someone has got their life together. Again, doesn't mean perfect because none of us are perfect, but I do feel like this is definitely someone who's got their life together. And I just can't help, help notice all the fire energy that's coming towards you. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I mean, the soulmates, the lovers. Oh, and hello, Nine of Pentacles underneath that. You know, I often feel like if we got kind of stoned, the Nine of Cups underneath that, hello. So maybe we got stuck in someone's web, so to speak. But, you know, I feel like also this signifies that you still did your thing, right? And listen, for some of you, this emperor could certainly be someone you work with. Someone you already know or someone you're about to meet. But it doesn't have to be that because really the Nine of Pentacles is about independent success. And I feel like for some of you, it's like, even though, you know, I may have been sad regarding love, I felt like you still were doing your thing relating to your finances, to your career, you know, whatever you want. You know, some of you could have started your own business type of energy. But look at this. With temperance, divine timing, with judgment, calling you to the present moment. With the death card, closing of a door. Two cards that are saying there is about to be a rebirth. And then the full, will you take a leap of faith? Because it will be up to you. You don't have to. But I have a feeling it's going to be hard to deny this. You know, sometimes the people that we've been with were really just teaching us what we don't want to love or teaching us about how we are in love. You know, did I stay at the party too long? Did I allow someone to take away? I don't know. I feel like saying my dignity. I'm not sure why I'm saying it that way. You know, it's almost like I got to demand respect. If not, if I'm not getting it, that's my sign. I definitely feel like you've you've been through it, no doubt. 
But I also feel like, especially with the hermit here, you've also grown a lot. Like your spirituality, I feel like, has grown in leaps and bounds. And by the way, this person is probably very spiritual. Okay. Let's go ahead and take Mother Mary over the reading. Let's give him a cut, introduce him into the reading. And then for my beautiful Libra's Mother Mary, regarding his beautiful soulmates. Ooh. Okay. First, we have Grace. I am filled with the same beauty, poise, and divine perfection as all of God's other creatures. Maybe I just need to tell myself that, right? I'm deserving also. Self-respect. You know, we can go way back to this Queen of Swords where I feel like that's what she's learning. Like, you know. You know, I, I hate to say, like, I have to demand respect. Because I feel like, it, like, it, it's either going to come naturally or it's not. But anyway, self-respect. I feel like that's just a lesson you have been learning. I honor and love myself through my healthful actions. All right, Grace. Just telling yourself that you, you're deserving of this love. Self-respect, I feel like it's telling anyone of the past who um, was not respecting you. And listen, I don't even feel like I'm bothering to tell them. I'm just, I've just regained my self-respect. I've regained my voice. I'm becoming more and more balanced every day. And I feel like that's all temperance was asking for. That's all your spiritual, your spiritual team was asking for. You know. Like allowing the help, the healing process to take place. Try not to create these walls um, that that you feel are protecting you, but they're really kind of blocking at the same time. You know, believe that your wishes can come true, and again, sometimes we're waiting on divine. And sometimes divine is waiting on us. But I loved how your reading opened. And I also love that the soulmates and the lovers are both here. I knew they were going to come out. I just knew it. All right. I'm going to let that be. Um, I thank you guys so much. I love you. Um, yeah, I know it's long. You don't even have to tell me that in a comment, of course. You wouldn't still be here if that was your if that's what you thought. If you and I know many of you love the long readings, and I am not going to change a thing. Like the long readings is me; it's how I read. Um, so you know, unfortunate for those who want the short readings, plenty of places for them to go. Um, but I feel like if you you know this is detailed. All right. I'm going to let that be. I love you guys. I will see you. You know, I was going to go live on Saturday. Um, I forget what happened that I changed. I couldn't do it. And then Sunday was Father's Day. So I wanted to spend the day with Sam. Um, so sometime this week I will go live. Um, but anyway, I thank you guys. Um, I love you guys. I pray that. Listen, if nothing else, that your dreams start to become your reality. Be proactive, right? Hand in hand with divine. That's how. And especially with the wheel here, your destiny. It's like it's ready to open up. And so it is. I love you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.